Okay, so this is our place where we grow the mushrooms. So here we have pressure cookers, stove, a sink, a table to prepare a lot of stuff. And then we have the one of the fridges. Here we have a greenhouse. A lot of things in the greenhouse. Not many mushrooms because we just harvested the, yesterday, most of them, after the weekend. And now there is only a few of them left. Uh, this time it's the late, uh, latest we will grow uh, king oyster because uh, it will be too hot in two weeks, more than 20 degrees. Now we are only at 17 and 83 percent. We have also like here a little bit of uh, elm oyster. Many blocks of shiitake, so this one are second and third flush, and um, but they are giving pretty well, and and this uh, so we are also trying different shapes for uh, because people want to ready blocks and they like like to have something that look nice like this one, or uh, we try also with this, uh, this bottle, but now it doesn't have mushrooms anymore. And with this frame as well, that you could like suspend in your wall or do something like this. Okay, we have still more uh, El Moisture here. And we have also some Piopino that started to grow. Only now, we are waiting for months now. Uh, I was working on this uh, on the, this small greenhouse of uh, shiitake and uh, we can see right here that we are almost at 96% moisture now so it's full of fog uh, I can maybe open a little bit to see the fog getting out I'm not sure you can get it on the camera And, uh, but I will put the new shiitake blocks in there to make new fruits.
So yeah, the whole greenhouse is here because to keep the moisture high. So we have uh, and we have a complex system here. Uh, so for ventilation and moisture. And so like for ventilation, it comes from up there. Go down here, go in this box. Inside there is a big fan and gets out of this tube. Exhaust, take it here. So this is something I made for making easier to change the filter. And so it, it gets there and there is another ventilator, very strong one, and that pushes it out from this window. Yeah, I didn't show the many ventilators we have. This one that we, I just repaired because it was uh, the thermal fuse uh, blow blown up. Yeah, I, I I was closing everywhere so the spore don't get inside because the first one died because of the spore. So, uh, but unfortunately it died as well. So what I have done is to let it change the thermal fuse, leave it open, and hope that it will take a few months before I have to change the thermal fuse and clean everything inside. <coughs> so we have this one as a backup, but also as a, to make a more, uh, like uh, Stamet say, vortex uh, uh, ventilation in here. So there is even two others. This one, which is a DC fan, and DC fan are very good because they don't consume and uh, they make a small noise but they have a lot of electronics so the first one I put here died after two hours and now this one I covered everything with uh, um, with uh, what's the name uh, this glue uh, okay I will tell you later but don't use silicon use uh, Glue and uh, it will cover uh, to, co to make it waterproof because they have a lot of electronics inside and that's why they are so economic. These ones, okay. And uh, we have an, an, uh, a similar one here, but uh, it's a Nacy fan and it has much more holes, consume much more. And okay, no e electronics inside, so no pro problem from the from the moisture, but uh, it doesn't like so much to be closed. It heats a lot. So this is a small tour of our greenhouse today. I hope next time I will show you with more mushrooms. I will jump a little bit to the other, um, show you a little bit the other spaces and then it will be uh, all for today because I have some more to do. So.
Uh, let's come in here. Yeah. So this is uh, our uh, shiitake block that dry here before we soak them again and put them back in the greenhouse. And here we are making our pasteurized blocks from straw. So you see the big blocks in there. Okay, up there it's the shiitake and pepino sterile blocks, but these ones are like the, the pasteurized blocks. It starts something like this. It's, this is straw and coffee ground. 80% straw, 20% coffee ground, and then you have some white growing, and then it's all white, and then it's even more white than that, and I think I don't have an example, but at some point they will make mushrooms and start to push against the plastic to get out from the back. And that's when we move them to the other room. And now for the lab, I will jo just show you a little bit from here. We are still using a glove box. I'm working on making a HEPA flow hood to make it easier to work. This is a little bit uh, long, but it's very efficient. So with this small box, we made all these blocks you will see in there. Okay. So at the top there, it's uh, in there. It's this line. It's Piopino. And this is uh, shiitake. Okay, this is again shiitake. A lot of shiitake here. We have some blocks of oyster and things like that. At the bottom here, it's shiitake blocks that are browning. Uh, they are almost brown, this one, we should use them. And even at the bottom there, there is still more blocks of shiitake, brown, ready to go. That's why I was repairing the greenhouse, to make it put them there and get many mushrooms and okay we make some agars and also grain spawn you see the grain spawn in there okay, another time I will get you inside there and okay we have a small fridge it's important to have a fridge to keep your to store your cultures and your spawn when you don't use it immediately and then we have also this small uh, air cleaner that we connected to the ventilation so the air is uh, it's like positive pressured in there with HEPA cleaned air so inside the air is very very clean we could almost not use the glove box but uh, well okay so that's it I hope next, well, next time I will show you a bit more stuff